It's time to get motivated to fit into your sexy with Morox. Always here to help you get into the best shape of your life and love your body with fitness and nutrition expert tips. Here to keep you up to date with the latest fitness trends and studies, plus much more. For all the motivation you need to finally fit into your sexy. Let's go! Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Fit Into Your Sexy. I am your host, Mo Rocks, and today we are talking about going into the new year and adopting new habits and new rituals to reach our goals. We have 10 days before we step into the new year. Now, generally speaking, no, of course I'm going to talk about fitness because like I tell you all the time, it's no way around it. You're not exempt. You must work out and eat healthy. But generally speaking, what are your goals? What is it that you want to change in your life? Or should I say, what is it about you that you want to change? Basically, what growth spurt do you need and or want to experience at this point in your life? Because we all know that times are changing so fast these days. You can look at the internet sometimes and just see that times are changing by the day, right before our eyes. And truthfully, as times are changing, so should you. Most of us, if not all of us, for the last couple of weeks have talked about what we're going to do in January and how we're not going to do this and how we're not going to do that anymore for the new year. We're going to make these small or big changes in our lives to change our lives overall or whatever reason you're doing it, you're going to make these big or small changes in your life. But are you really ready to start that change in the next 10 days? Studies have shown time and time again that humans, our brains does not like change. We don't like change. We we like comfort. And once we have uh, a way of life that we've adopted and become, become accustomed to, we want to keep it that way. It's comfortable. We like our comfort zone. So change is not something that we all accept and jump into with ease. It's very easy to talk about what we want or uh, what we want for ourselves, but it's the action part that we get stuck on or where we start and then we stop. You all know how we do. We'll start something new in January. We all do it every single year. We'll start something, do it for 10 to 15 days, and then stop. Perfect example, working out. Majority of the world main goal at the beginning of every year is to work out, lose weight, and eat healthy or whatever it is, get in better shape for the new year. But how many new years have you been blessed to see where you have started to a workout plan? You've actually done it. You started on January 2nd. You did good the first week, did good the second week. And on that third week, it became, everything came before it. You went back to your old ritual. So whatever habits or whatever your routine was back the year before, you started doing that within three weeks of the new year. And then the whole workout plan is just out the door. Before we go into the new year and you repeat this same cycle, let me tell you this. This will definitely help you when you're making your plans for your new goals in the new year. All of the latest research shows that it takes an average of 66 days to form a habit. It used to be 21 days, but the latest research is showing that it's 66 days. So the changes that you plan to take in this new year must be planned for no less than the next four months. You should be planning right now through April to achieve whatever goals you have or change whatever habits that you're trying to change and change your rituals in order for you to make that your new habit and get rid of the old habit that has not been beneficial to you, obviously. First thing I want you to do is I need you to check yourself. Check your expectations. What do you honestly expect to happen when you make this change in 10 days? What are your expectations of yourself? What are your expectations of the people around you? What do you expect? Whenever I try to change anything, I start with my expectations of this change in my life. What challenges do I expect? What rewards do I expect? How do I expect my environment to change? How do I expect the people around me 
to change as well because you have to understand your environment and the people you associate yourself with also will have an impact on the change in the in the rituals that you are attempting to adopt in the new year. I recommend most importantly that you expect to change and expect it to last. Your mindset has to be that you will change and this change will become your habit so it will last you a lifetime. If not, why are you doing it? Here's an example. Let's just say this. Say you want to stop drinking sodas. You know why. You know the harm that it does to you and you know it's going to change you for the better inside and out. The first thing you would do is start with your long-term commitment. You will write down, I will not have soda for 66 to 100 days. Now, you must make a plan of how you will follow through to accomplish what you expect to happen, your expectations. You expect to stop drinking sodas. And this is not a, a goal that you are you have an expiration date on because you've learned that sodas does not do anything good for you. So you just want to stop doing it. You just want to get it out of your life, basically. So you have to expect that this will be something that will last forever. Of course, we expect the positive results to come out of this change because we know that it's better for our body overall. We also have to expect the challenges, expect to have cravings, expect to have temptations, expect to be put in situations where you will be tempted to drink that soda. But here's the thing. You must also have a strategic plan on how you will face that challenge. Because challenges will present itself over and over. And instead of allowing them to defeat you, you must instead use them as your stepping stones. Each challenge should be a lesson. Each challenge should be something that helps you get stronger or makes you stronger inside. Your plan must include how you will counteract your cravings, how you will face those challenges, what you will do instead what you will drink instead. You got to make sure you plan that as well because you have to expect expect those blocks that's going to come before you. But you also have to expect to overcome those blocks as well. How are you going to stay committed to your new goals? Through your motivation, which I can tell you now, motivation will be non-existent at times. Actually, motivation will be non-existent more often than you think it will be. You have to also have a plan on how you're going to get through the temptations. Your environment will tempt you. People will tempt you. How will you get past that? Make the plan. Write it down. For the next 10 days, I want you to plan and prepare to execute action on January 2nd. You can't wait till after your hangover on January 1st to start planning and say, okay, okay, tomorrow I'm going to start. No, no, no. You'll already be 10 days behind and 10 days is a lot of time to be behind on anything that you are serious about. So your plan should be very detailed as to who, what, when, where, and how. Even if you have to say for the next four months, I will not attend my normal Friday night, whatever, movie night or my Friday night at happy hour, I will not attend it for the next four months. If that's what's going to keep you from drinking soda, which nine times out of 10, you're not drinking soda at happy hour, but we're going to act like it's soda right now. But if that's what's going to keep you from drinking soda for the next four months, so it can become a habit in your life or so it can now become the new, a new part of you, then that's what you have to do. That's the change that you have to make. You may not want to, but how bad do you want to see this change happen in your life? I want to remind you of one thing that you have in your possession. You have an amazing tool to start and reach your goals, and that is your mind. What you've imagined in your mind can become your reality. So now you must deliberately choose to evolve and change your habits to take on your new rituals and make your desires your reality. Will you be ready to adopt your new habits to reach your new goals in the next 10 days? 10 days will not be long. It will come faster than you know it. Do not be 10 days behind on January the 1st or the 2nd trying to start or make a plan for whatever goals you have for yourself. 
don't repeat the same routine that you've repeated year after year after year after year. Make this next year the best year of your life. Plan what you have to do. Plan what you're going to do when you are tempted, when you are faced with challenges. Write this stuff down. Don't try to remember it. You have a million thoughts going through your head every single day. You will not remember it. And if you do not have it written down nine times out of ten, you will not act on it. Write it down. Take action. Get ready right now and start on January 2nd. I will talk to you guys in the next episode. You just listened to Fit Into Your Sexy. For recaps of this show or more fitness and nutrition programs with lots of motivation, head over to moroxphysique.com.